Hey there, it's Claire from Clarify Creations, and welcome to a Sunday afternoon in my life. Today we're going to be doing some meal prep and cooking, so I thought I would just take you all along for whatever crazy adventures we end up in together, because it's me and we're bound to get ourselves into something for sure. If you all are new to my channel, I am a pediatric nurse and I work in the office, so I am Monday through Friday. I try and reset my week every Sunday slash Saturday, get some things done, so my week is a little bit smoother because I have found out if you don't be responsible and take the weekends to set yourself up for a good week, Things get crazy and it just doesn't seem to be put together. Now my life is anything but put together, but I try as much as possible. It's not really anything special. I think I'm gonna chat with you all a little bit as I work. Today we're gonna be making some creamy Tuscan chicken. I've never made that before, so I thought let's just try it out on the internet. But first, I am just assembling some grapes and some snack bags for my lunches. That way I have them just all put together and I can just grab one every day of the week, Monday through Friday. I went to church this morning, so I got back from there, went to a wedding shower for the first time, which is very different. I've never been to one before, so it was really good, but I had no idea what to expect. So if y'all have ever been to a wedding shower, comment down below. It's crazy that I'm getting to that age where a lot of my friends are starting to get engaged or married. A lot of people I went to high school are especially, and some of them already have two kids. Let's take you over here because we're real on this channel. And yes, we are defrosting some chicken in the sink because I did not prepare in advance. Let's go ahead and finish up putting these grapes in snack bags. All six of these, I had an extra one, so that's why there's six are packed up, so I'm just gonna put these in the fridge. But I thought I would share some things I've been learning since living on my own. If you all are new or haven't really been following along for everything, I moved out of my parents' house in November and have been living here at the apartment since then. So it's been about five-ish months or so, and I wanted to just talk a little bit about how that transition has been. I've mentioned it sort of in the past vlog, or one of them, I think. But being an adult is hard, you guys. I have never had to cook for myself, really, because my mom has always done it, and she is a phenomenal cook. So I had to learn how to meal prep. Put this in the fridge, and I'll keep talking. Our fridge is really well stocked. Let me show you all. Look at that, that's pretty crazy. We both went to the store, so I'm gonna just throw this in here. And the next step, is to make that Tuscan chicken, but unfortunately my chicken is still not thawed. So I think I'm just gonna get all the ingredients together and start working on that, and hopefully by that time the chicken will be pretty much thawed. It's only a pound of chicken breast, but that's what happens when you don't plan ahead, guys. Always try and think the day beforehand, so when you need chicken, it's not frozen and you have to be in the situation waiting around for it to defrost. I'm back, but this time with the rice cooker. So we're gonna go ahead and do this while the chicken is still doing its thing. This is brown rice, and it's the cheapest rice I've found, so that's what we're using. I like brown rice. Well, actually, I don't know if I really like brown rice. I like the thought of it being healthier, so that's why I get brown rice. Normally, my family is a white rice kind of family, but since it's me, I'm trying to be a little bit more healthy. I don't know. I'm weird with whole grains. Comment down below if you're also weird with whole grains and just eat it because they say it's better for you. I think I'm gonna do two cups of rice. That should be enough. I am really bad with proportions, but we're gonna dump this in here and measure out another one. Normally with rice, I will put in chicken stock because my mom taught me to do that because it adds more flavor to it. But unfortunately, I don't have any chicken stock. So 
we're going to be using some plain water, maybe some butter, because, you know, we're being super healthy, right? And this is the rice I have left. Is it really worth saving? Probably not, but if I have another incident where I accidentally drop my phone in my cereal and it gets wet with milk, this might come in handy to, you know, absorb it, because fun fact, that happened two days ago. You have to wash the rice. So we're gonna just get some tap water here and fill it up. I don't know, yeah, you can't see any of this. Swish it around because rice is not clean and you have to, let's see if I can show you all. Can't, probably can't tell, but the water's a little murky. So you have to clean it and rinse it out before you actually put it in otherwise. You're eating dirty rice. So we're gonna pour this out and I'll probably do it again just to be safe. Rinse through one time, through one time, and I'm just dropping that on the counter. That's fun. Let's let's uh, try and not do that again. And rinse it. I can already tell that the color is much clearer now that I've rinsed it twice. And it's really hard to not get the rice in the sink because it likes to come flying out of there. So we're gonna do two cups of these because the recipe I'm using is a one-to-one -one ratio. So let's just uh, dump half of it in the sink too. We're really embracing our true body flayness here today. And a very complicated, oh, complicated. Oh. I need to stop doing that, guys. Pop this in our fancy rice cooker. Put the lid on let it cook until it's done. I have no idea how long it's gonna take, but it'll just start beeping when it's done. So we'll see together. Took a quick trip to go get some gas for the upcoming week because I just remembered last week I didn't get it and I was so exhausted after work and then I remembered that I had to stop and get gas which was so sad. So here I am at the gas station and you guys, the prices have went up so much since just a few days ago. It is now $3 a gallon here in Tennessee. Comment down below what your all's gas prices are because last week I'm pretty sure it was two seventy something or two eighty. Definitely didn't hit $3 a gallon, which is unfortunate. But I'm going to do this and then I'm going to run to the store super fast and get some garlic bread because me and Sydney are having some people over this week and we're gonna do an alfredo night grocery haul time i was talking that i was gonna get some garlic bread but their options were not the best so somehow i grabbed these king's hawaiian butter rolls which i think will be really good can still put butter and garlic on them and try and make them like garlic bread was my thought process and i love king's hawaiian got a 12 pack of these and then have you guys heard of the best fizzy drink called Fresca. Fresca is so good and I saw it on my way out and thought yep I'm grabbing that. So you go into the store for one thing and you just have to get other things when you see it. And it was on sale for five dollars. I think I have a pack of 12, 12 12 ounce cans. And I'm out of breath because walking all the way to my car with the Fresca and the rolls, man getting some serious strength in. But let's head back to the apartment and finish up that cooking because we do have some people coming over tonight, which is separate from the thing we're doing later in the week. And we're having Mexican, so I need to get all my cooking done before we have dinner and make Mexican food. Heat some oil on a pan and start cooking up the chicken. So we're gonna drizzle it all over. And while that is currently heating up, I'm gonna wash these cherry tomatoes. Now, I'm not really a tomato fan. You might be wondering, well, if you're not a tomato fan, what are you doing with tomatoes? And I would say that is a good question. I just thought I would try it because I like spaghetti sauce, but I don't like raw tomatoes and I don't like individual ones. I'm very weird. A tomato base sauce, I think, is what I'm gonna be going for. So we'll see if I end up liking it. I think I will because it's not straight up raw.
it's getting serious with the apron. The chicken is almost done. You can see it has a good roasted color to it, which is always nice. We like brown chicken because that means it's done. Also the temperature. I always check the temperature of chicken even if it looks done because I have a really big fear that I'm gonna get salmonella and I don't want salmonella. So let's just check in on it and see how it's doing here. The small one is most likely gonna be done fastest. Mm -hmm. Yep, 165, it's done. The small one is. The other two still need a couple more minutes probably. Chicken is done, so let's just add in this block of butter with some garlic too. And as you can tell, this is lopsided because our stove is old and it all just goes to one side. So you gotta spread it around and help it a little bit. recipe calls for heavy cream, but I don't have heavy cream. Instead, I'm going to be using half and half, which I think will be just okay too, because it might be a little bit lighter and not quite as creamy. Okay, we got it open. Look at that. And I'm going to pour in half a cup of this half and half just straight into the mixture. Okay, let's do this, guys. Mmm. Looking really good. It smells amazing in here. I love the smell of garlic and butter because, mmm, yummy. So we're going to let this simmer down for a few minutes, add the chicken, and I think once I do that, we'll add the Parmesan cheese and it'll be all done. Oh, speaking of all done, the rice. I have no idea when this rice is supposed to be done. It's been cooking for about an hour. You'd think it'd be done by now. So I might check on that, actually. The rice is indeed cooking. We'll see when it goes off. Time for a confession. So I mentioned that I was going to put in some Parmesan cheese because the recipe calls for that. And I poured it all in. I had to combine two containers because I was almost out of one. And look what I discovered. As you can see, this is not Parmesan cheese. It is Asiago. And I put an eighth of a cup of this and an eighth of a cup of actual Parmesan. So we'll see. I don't know if I've actually ever had Asiago shredded like this before. I really couldn't tell you what it tastes like. But hopefully it tastes good in this recipe. Because if not, I already poured it in there. So we shall find out together. I'm just letting this sit in the sauce for a few more minutes and then we're gonna give it a taste test because why not? I am so excited to try it even despite the whole cheese mishap. It smells really good. And then we're gonna pour it over that brown rice whenever it decides to get done cooking. And the finished product looks like this. We got our creamy chicken and our rice did end up cooking, so that's always really good. But the part you all have been waiting for is the taste test. So let's go ahead and try it and then I'll portion it up for lunches throughout the week. I made myself a little plate of it. So we are going to ground some black pepper to finish it off. And just sprinkle it on here for some added flavor. Okay, and I got a little piece of chicken and rice. First impressions, the chicken is looking a little bit tough. It's a little frozen still as I was cooking it. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> That's actually really good. I can definitely taste the chicken, which is nice because that's what I just ate. Mmm. 
So I can really taste the tomatoes have a good flavor. The sauce, I put a lot of seasonings in there and oregano, very fragrant. And overall, I would rate this an 8.5 out of 10. It's really, really yummy. Mm. Maybe add some basil in there next time to give it a little more fresh flavor. But definitely recommend this recipe. It was super easy to make and good for meal prep. So I'm gonna keep eating this. Mm. Mm. Also highly recommend getting the right type of cheese and not just the wrong one. I think Parmesan would go better. But overall, this was a success, not a fail. I will see you all later. Thanks so much for following along for cooking with Claire. Mom, see I can cook. Bye.